In Cricut Design Space, open up a new project and then go to the templates and choose a blank canvas. When you click on blank canvas, it defaults to the 12 by 12 side, which is exactly what I need for my scrapbook page. And then I'll just, um, so that I can see the whole thing in my window, I'll go down and click on that. There we go, so we can see the whole thing in the screen. Since I have three photographs that are going to be on this page, I am going to make three four by six rectangles and make them white. These will represent the photographs that are going to be on my page. Once I have these three rectangles created, then I'm going to move them around, change the orientation, and put them where I think I want them on my page layout. I will later use these white rectangles as mats, matting for my photographs. They're four by six, the same size as my photographs, but I'll just trim my photographs down a little bit so that the white matting will show behind them. Now I am looking for elements to fill the page. Like this square down here in the bottom left corner, I want to have something that says sweet dreams. So I will find something that says sweet dreams under um, images and I'll find that in Cricut design space and I'll cut that out of vinyl you'll see that on the finished page and then I am going to place circles of patterned paper and put them behind the photographs on the page I got this idea off a of page layout that I a couple different ones actually I go to Pinterest and just search um, for scrapbook page layouts and look at a few that I like and then take little bits and pieces from each one to kind of get the a look that I like. Now I will take these circles and change the color from black to uh, a color that is similar to a color that I'm using of the actual cardstock so I know how many of each different pattern cardstock I need to cut circles from. This will all make sense at the end. Like I have a I have a pattern card a pattern paper that is primarily green. I have one that's primarily peach. Um, I have one that's primarily green. So I'll know which paper I'm supposed to use for each circle based on the color that I make it. There's other images that I'm going to want on this page. Um, one of them is clouds. So I'll go and search for cloud images. And I found a couple that might work. So I'll pull those in to this design and see how they look. You know, play around with the, uh, the size. Lots of clouds to choose from.
that one's really big, so I'll just change that size to more manageable. There we go. And then this one is a couple of, it's a, it's a few layers, so I'll ungroup that and get rid of a layer that I won't need. And make the cloud white. And then move that to behind a photograph, resize it and move it behind a photograph where I think it might look good. And move that to the back. Now for these two small ones, I'll ungroup them because I only need one. And I'll move that into position on the page where I want it. And I'll continue on doing this for different elements besides clouds because I want a flower 